First and foremost, the most important thing is the issue of planning. Unless you don't plan, unless you don't have a project plan, there's no way by which you can do a project management. Plan in terms of how you're going to do the project and when you are going to do what. The second important part is design. We have to see that the design of the project is A, approved, B, also taking care of the issues in terms of what's the best design that you need to have to satisfy the end customers, design which is cost effective, and design which will ultimately meet the ends of the consumer. The third factor which is over there is close monitoring. It requires close monitoring to see that the progress as per plan at every stage is fructified. So you need to monitor and see that the projects are taken in the timeline that it is done, in the cost effectiveness which you've done, and the progress in terms of quality is auto satisfactory, which is monitoring this particular plan. The fourth most important part of the entire project management is to make provision for contingencies. Most of the time you make a plan, but you don't provide for contingencies. Contingencies in terms of time escalation, cost escalation, uh, closures of projects, non-supply of materials, strikes, whatever it is as far as this is concerned. You need to make contingencies at today. And the last point is corrections. We need to correct ourselves as we go about into the project. No project during its construction period is going to be exactly what you had designed it for or the way you wanted to do it. There may be a requirement of change from the consumer. You may find that certain materials have become more expensive. All various variations will have to be done. So you must be ready to make the corrections and still meet the ends of the project. If you take care of these five things, I think you have a good project management.